Okay, you knew I had to play with this stupid thing, this uh, Eshent uh, music manager. I think it has a failed hard drive, but I have no way to know for sure. I've never worked with one of these things, and uh, so I'm doing some experimenting with it. If I manually open up the trap door here and push the manual unloader, I can get the door to open, and then you can see what happens when I plug it in. And bear with me, the video is going to be a little choppy because this thing's sitting on my lap. It's a laptop. All right, now, let's see, put this thing into the... Okay, it takes the disc in, and it does read it. You can hear it. I think you can hear it. So, okay, it's <clears throat> reading the disc, but I don't hear anything more than that. Sometimes when I do this, it'll take off into a turbo high-speed mode, the fastest I ever heard one of these things run. This light here that's blinking, the power light, according to the book, when this is blinking, it's going through its setup mode, uh, or its initial startup mode. Um, it's hooked up to a monitor here. The monitor never s receives a command to turn on so you don't know anything that's going on there. Uh, the hard drive, you never hear the hard drive doing anything except the, you hear the motor running inside the hard drive, but you don't hear the noise, the uh, sounds that are associated with a hard drive reading any information. I'm not sure, accord, uh, no, let me backtrack, according to what I read online, uh, you can replace the hard drive with a, any hard drive that you want. However, I don't know if the startup commands are on flash ROM on the board, or if there's a uh, startup seed on the uh, hard drive itself that has to be there. I just don't know. But this is all it ever does. If you don't have a disk in there, then the you know, nothing ever happens. It just, that blue light will stay on. And I left it on for an hour just in case, because it did say in the manual it could take several minutes to, depending on what's on the hard drive, to an hour or two to uh, initialize. Seems excessive, but you would think still that the, uh, that the monitor would turn on, at least to tell you what's going on, like please wait anything, but it does nothing. Uh, so, as I say, it could be a total hard drive failure. It's just, I just don't know. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know. And, uh, I'm not going to send this to factory service. To me, it's not worth it. I know I'll never use it. I don't have a use for something like this, except that it's cool, and uh, I'd like to see it work. But uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I may try a new hard drive just for the heck of it. I mean, it's worth gambling that. I may even try taking this hard drive out of here and putting it into an old desktop computer I've got hanging around. And just to see if there's anything on this hard drive, I could do that. Eh, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys to tell me what I should do with it. And be nice. Okay.